My name is Ankit Kaushik. I am from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, Germany. Here I am presenting our proposed solution as secondary user, which we participated at IEEE Tie Span 5G Spectrum Challenge. So our proposed solution consists of two parts: the hardware part and the software part. For the hardware part, we used USRP X310. The software part was implemented using GNU Radio and the host computer. For the physical layer, we implemented filter bank multi-carrier, which was completely parameterizable. We chose filter bank multi-carrier in order to keep our adjacent channel interference as low as possible, at the same time achieve high spectral efficiency. We chose short packet lengths for the secondary transmission in order to avoid packet collision at the secondary receiver and also at the primary receiver. Concerning the coexistence with the primary user, we implemented a spectrum sensing based on energy detection. Energy detection was chosen in order to achieve fast, reliable results. Concerning the noise calibration, we implemented adaptive noise flow estimation at the secondary transmitter. We also temporarily backlisted some of the busy channels. Our proposed solution consists of omnidirectional direction antenna. This ensured reliability also in the dynamic scenarios. So, concerning the lessons learned, we uh, realized that the latency is the most critical issue. The latency is non-deterministic, which is arising from the software and the hardware frameworks. This latency can be only be can only be mitigated if we can move this critical parts over to FPGA. So one proposed solution is to move energy detection uh, using RF NOx proposed by Atos Research. For the future work, we want to focus on more dynamic scenarios. That means we want to implement adaptive modulation order or ad, uh, an adaptive gate so that we can we are able to uh, work as an underlay system or realize uh, beamforming and motion tagging algorithms. Thank you very much.